Bitcoin has broken a really, really important upward sloping trend line. And now everybody is wondering how low can we actually go from here? And I have unfortunately to admit quite low. I think it is not over yet. And I have of course also prepared a lot of other charts here again for you guys. So definitely stick around here until the end to see what's happening here in the market and make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like this video and uh, click the notification bell so that you will never miss out on these important updates as they unfold here in the markets. And let's directly get here into the charts guys for today. So we have seen here the massive breakdown of this rising wedge here on the daily chart. Exactly as I predicted it here, our first target, um, I hope you uh, were able to catch this short. So the target is still all the way down here at around $15,500 in the immediate short term, even though the stochastic RSI is getting here in over uh, sold conditions right now, but it doesn't mean anything. We could flatline here on the bottom while the price is still going lower. And I will show you in a second why I believe that this is quite likely the outcome that we will see and that we potentially could even go lower. But this will be at the end of the video, but uh, stick around for that. So the first warning sign was definitely here. This candle formation, this evening star pattern indicates a trend reversal to the downside. So and as it looks like um, as of now, we are not done with it. When we go here into the lower time frames on the four hourly chart, so here we had this upward sloping support line that I was talking about. So, and also this has yesterday broken down here to the downside. And we got now a slightly support from the point of control on the VPVR here, this red line. Um, around $16,500. From there we bounced a little bit, but here again, um, another bearish candle structure is uh, forming here, which could indicate if we break this point and will actually um, head here into way lower levels. So also here we have to prepare for sub $16,000 in my opinion. Uh, so here we have some support, but I can actually draw it a little bit lower. Yeah, kind of like here. Yeah, you see around $16,000 um, is here the next um, uh, bigger support uh, level. So because it was support here, it was support there. Here we broke it. So but here it became support again. So a retest of this level um, is, in my opinion, quite imminent for the Bitcoin price here on the four hourly time frame. And um, that's also the reason why I will open really, really soon a short position all the way down to $16,000. It will be most likely with high leverage. Um, and I will also open uh, a short position with a little bit bigger position, um, potentially also on some altcoins that I will post in my free Telegram channel. Uh, the link is in the uh, comments and in the um, description of the video below um, for a longer term a play. And let us uh, uh, get here first to a Bybit, guys. Don't forget, if you want to trade, do it on Bybit. There you still get $30,000 in free bonuses. And uh, you have to use my specific link for that. Or on BitGet, $20,000 in free bonuses. Also, only with that specific link. Otherwise, you will not get these bonuses if you don't use these specific links here. So when we go then here to a four hourly chart, then also here we can clearly see that the $16,900, $16,700 level flipped now into resistance uh, because of this um, bearish candlestick setup that we have here. So we have here um, a spinning top, more or less. It's not a, a really beautiful one, but I would still consider it a spinning top, which is also indicating a trend reversal. Stochastic error size is also not looking good here. It's already flip-flopping here uh, in the oversold conditions. And when we see something like this, normally the price is still heading into lower levels. I'm really sorry that I don't have good news for a bullish case because I like to stay bullish, but I ha can only present what the chart is here in front of our eyes unfolding. And for now, it is still bearish. Also, when we go here to a three day chart um, and look at the Super Guppy, so the Super Guppy basically tells you when we're in an uptrend and when we're in a downtrend and also when these trends are changing, uh, when we are getting here in these white labeled faces here. Um, so we had here in this massive run up, of course, a, ma a massive green face. And then we went here into a small correction and then we flipped again green. So but now, of course, uh, we got another 
a white section here and then we flipped into this massive bear trend that we are in right now and there's unfortunately no sign right now in the charts that is pointing to a potential reversal for that so and you can see here if we come down and um, test here this downward sloping support line as I have it here right now so the next touch would be already around uh, less than fifteen thousand dollars and if this still continues before we get another touch and I think another touch is um, definitely coming here uh, we could be sitting here at uh, fourteen thousand thirteen thousand dollars ish in that scenario so uh, what do I believe when we're gonna flip here finally bullish again so I think this year this will be not the case anymore that we see here a bullish reversal from this three-day chart back to the upside another reason for that is also that the 200 uh, moving average is coming in here around um, twenty-eight thousand dollars. so even if we would get some sort of a bullish breakout here based on the uh, super guppy we would most likely see a rejection around twenty-eight thousand dollars. and in my opinion this will not happen before end of january february kind of around um, this time frame um, something else that I want to show you quick here is when I go back to a weekly chart. So now we see also what I had warned about that I was concerned that this could still be playing out is that also here we get a, an evening star formation right now. So and if we uh, close this week around $16,000, then we have also again a continuation um, to the downside with this bearish candlestick um, formation and then we should be also on a weekly scale get ready to touch at least 14,500 all the way down to $12,700 in that kind of range we're gonna drop down and from there only from there I expect somewhat of a, a W pattern or another a bullish structure forming and only from there we will go back up again so um, of course I have to redact uh, the scenario that this was uh, most likely the bottom I don't believe that anymore with um, the price action that we are seeing right now so uh, I believe there's still another low coming and then we get a higher low and then finally the reverse that we are waiting for so yeah that's it for two guys uh, for today guys um, yeah I have not some uh, bullish um, other news right now so it is what, uh, what it is guys we have to work with that but at least we can make some money also to the downside or start accumulating more in these lower price sections because um, in the long run in the next two three years it doesn't matter if you bought at 12,000 at 14,000 at 16,000 because everybody knows where this yeah where where we basically travel to and in which levels we will be in the next two to three years where bitcoin will be for sure around a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars guys uh, that's it for today don't forget to smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i'll see you then again tomorrow